Ah, the crack of the bat. To most baseball people, there's no sweeter sound, but perhaps one. For a guy like Paul, the only thing better than the sound of the bat doing its job is the sound of the bat while he's doing his. Paul is a special lathe operator at KR3 Custom Bats in Cambridge. His work might look nothing more than repetitive, but to Paul, he's making art that's changing the game one piece at a time. I would say the biggest part of it would be the quality of the wood. Doug Hamill is the main man on the floor. He's there when billets made of maple, blue ash, hickory and wood arrive from a secret location. And he's there when another batch of slick beauties is dipped, deckled, then departs. It's about sharing KR3's major league quality with everyone except the major leagues. We basically designed our factory to be a pro shop for amateur players and we have top amateur teams all over Canada using our bats. I'm not sure whether or not we would seek out major league approval or not at this point. You know the KR3 brand name has only been around since 1999 but they've been making bats here at this North Cambridge location since the 1930s and the company's history is even richer than that. You have to go back even further and a little closer to home to find out where it all began. It's fitting that KR3's roots trace back to the home of baseball in Canada. A century ago, St. Mary's Wood Specialties on James Street began producing bats for use by amateurs and pros alike. Decades later, this is it, still doing what it does best. Last year, to the tune of almost 30,000 bats. To be able to carry on that history and that tradition of making um, baseball bats is, is what we're most centered on. From the factory in Cambridge, into the hands of baseball players across the country, around the world, and right here in London. The hardwood that's not going to break on you is on the sides of the bat. These aren't major league players yet. Still, the London Tecumseh Pee Wees are swinging wood bats like the pros. And this is where the Tecumseh's bats are made. The historic KR3 plant in North Cambridge. Here they don't make bats en masse. But to order. We work with about five different types of wood. As for patterns, we carry over 900 uh, bat patterns, um, and the custom turning is endless. They are a grassroots company. They're not chasing big leaguers, they're not chasing uh, the top hitters. They are looking to grow locally and grow at the grassroots level. Jeff Flesher runs the Tecumseh Pee Wee program, where winning isn't everything, development is. On his hit list of top tools of the trade, custom-made bats by KR3. The other great advantage is the bat makes a whistle noise if the kid swings it hard. This is sort of an unintended positive consequence that came from them lightening the bat is this whistle sound that it created. Teams like the Tecumseh's and the London Majors, another KR3 customer, keep this facility spinning. It's been going since 1933 when the Seagram Company bought and moved the St. Mary's Wood Specialties Company to this building. Since then, the plant has seen some amazing times, especially under the guidance of co-owner Ross Heen. He was plant manager during the 1980s and early 90s when Cooper was the prominent name here. This place produced over 70,000 bats, many for major leaguers. On the client list, Tony Fernandez, Paul Molitor, and Joe Carter. Well hit down the left field line. Way back in. <laughs> These days, this is where you'll proudly find the KR3 brand in the hands of kids who hope to one day be good enough for the big time while swinging a bat that already is. We use strictly number one wood. Everybody gets a pro bat.